All right, and um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hide these. Hide selection. I think I'm going to leave this stuff, go into my layer manager, and click on CAD file. Okay, and this is where the refrigerator is. So what I'm going to do is come over here and with snaps on 2.5 to uh, vertex I'm going to draw out a box to this and then draw it up like there there we go and now what I found is I have a refrigerator here from homedepot.com um, store here in the US I don't know if it's worldwide or not um, but I found a refrigerator right here. Um, very simple, actually, it kind of looks like the one I have. Um, but I noticed that these handles, you know, are similar, not really similar, but similar enough to the handles that we have for the drawers. And I was thinking about saying, forget these handles and just, you know, steal a handle from the uh, cabinet uh, door and then just, you know, resizing it to fit for one up here and then one down here. I think that will actually look good. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, you can see that this is 66 inches high, 66.75 inches high, so 66 and 3 quarters. And then depth is 32 and a quarter inches. So what I'm going to do is go back here with height, 66.75. And there we go. And you can see I'm cutting that really close. And this definitely, definitely has to go higher than that, this uh, cabinet. So let me turn off this snaps right here. So it's a good thing I didn't do all of the uh, work on the doors up there. So very good. Let me go ahead and add a gray to that and get that going. Um, and I don't need to see the CAD file anymore. So I'll hide that. I'm also going to hide um, the top right here, hide selection. And I really don't need this either, so I'm going to hide everything in the kitchen. Oops. I'll group it all accordingly later. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to go ahead and convert this to an, um, convert it to an editable poly. And I'm going to chamfer these edges. Small amount. Actually, I kind of want it rounded. So I'm going to do it a couple times. See what I'm doing here. Hit apply. Just take that and do that. All right. I'll go through here up to my polygon properties and then just add one for that all the way around F4 and I'm going to do the same to the top here um, chamfer for that oops this check for this as well. That's fine enough. This is just a small detail. And the reason that I did one poly uh, group around this whole thing is that um, you know the doors are gonna hide the edges anyway. And I really probably didn't even have to chamfer them, but eh, you never know. Okay, so um, next, what I want to do is show this up. I want to, um, I think what I want to do is, I'm trying to think if I want to split this, or if I just want to do the door separately. Um, find the front, alright, this is the front of it. I'm going to create another box. About, I don't know almost to the edge here and make the freezer kind of big okay I 
this is where it goes. Alright. Add that. Okay, I'm going to take the height down because the fridge is not that big. Convert it to an editable poly. Get it off there some. I'm actually going to bring it up closer to the top here. About like that. Alright. And then what I want to do is take this edge here and chamfer that a couple times actually and wait for this to go and something like that and then I'm going to select the poly on the background, control click this and do a chamfer of that Okay. Okay, F4. And we're getting there. This side right here. What I want to do is loop this. See if it'll loop around. And for some reason, doesn't want to loop through here, I guess. So I'm going to uh, do it manually. And chamfer for this. Okay. Now that I have that, I have this top door here, what I'm going to want to do is create a um, kind of like another box in the background here, or in the back of it. Let's see here. This is going to be like that um, insulation part. some height in that bring it up here like that bring it down to the bottom here instead and give it some height up to the top just convert it to an editable poly now do something like that material. I really don't care how far it sticks into that because I'm going to be um, it's going to be hiding anyway. It's kind of thick, about like that. What I'm going to do here is doing a ring select. I'm going to do um, two here. I'm going to slide them towards the back kind of pinch them together a little more and slide them back a little more this way. Click OK. Zoom in here on it a little bit. Select this one. And I want to do a ring and then control click like that. I want to do an extrude, local normal. And I just want to bring it in like that. Click OK. Select all of these edges right through here. There, do a loop all the way around, and then I want to chamfer them. Just chamfer a little bit, make it kind of smooth, like so. You see, we got that little. It's subtle enough, you know, to you can look at it. Especially when it renders, you'll be able to see it that it's that little insulation part. 
while it might look a little bit hard, we could add turbo smooths and stuff like that. We could chamfer a little more if we wanted to, but you know, it's, it's best not to get too carried away with that. All right, let's see what I'm doing here. Just going to put that to the door a little bit. Right there. So now we have that in there. Before, if you look at it, you got that. I'll do a quick render on that. Shift Q. You should be able to see it. Yeah. You can see it kind of looks like that um a little insulation part between the door and the refrigerator. This right here. You know, I guess we could do the smoothing groups, but we can take care of that later. It's really no big deal right now. Let's take both of these, both of these objects, the insulation, that little thing, and the door, and just bring it down. Give it about, I don't know, that much space in between it. Okay. And I'll just take the, the door here, I guess what it is, and go almost to the bottom here of the refrigerator and then take the insulation itself if I can ever select it and do the same thing there we go don't have to go all the way to it but close enough okay so what we've got right now is the the doors on it and we need to create um, the little hingy thing right here which on mine is pretty simple looking actually it's like a box with a little bit of a uh, half circled edge right here we could probably do it from a, a cylinder actually and extrude it out with another cylinder for the uh, hinge part um, do that um, maybe put a little top part on each one of the doors um, but other than that um, we're getting close to being done with the refrigerator. So in the next part, let's do the hinge work and some of the uh, border stuff. Steal a, um, a handle from the drawers and put that on there. And from there, we can pretty much leave the rest to texturing to make our um, refrigerator look like it's supposed to. So I'll see you in the next video.